Hello, my name is Green, and if you remember from the last video, the one about gardens, I did say if you wanted me to make the wooden house, then I would. And that is this video. I'm here to show you how to make a quick wooden house. I tried really hard to make it as fast as possible, but it did take me 25 minutes. So when I say quick, I mean 25 minutes quick. Let's start, as we always do, with a frame. And I'm going to start by making that archway and then create a second archway just to the side of it, a few blocks apart. Now, although this is a tutorial, copying me block for block is not advised because you're just going to end up getting frustrated stopping going back over the video. So it's probably best to just take the concept and try it out for yourself, trying to apply all of the techniques for your own wooden house. So I have been trying to get a very nice, simple and small wooden frame together. I then go on to start the roof with an overhang, but only the outer edges and the sides. Getting that shape correct is really vital to visualizing the full build. So you can see I'm creating these overhangs over the top of my frame to try and get the best possible shape out of this house. And it will really help you later because all you'll have to do is fill it in. So I did make a quick mistake, whoops, I'll just edit that and I will go on to continue doing the roof on the front, but I'm gonna do a slightly different technique, just using half slab to create this overarching, very steady slope. I'm then gonna go up there and make a dormer, a quite thin one, and try and match the height of the rest of the build, and try and fill in some of the roof. Now I am going to be using a different colour wood to fill in the space on the roof using spruce, but I will be using birch later. This is a wooden house build and you could use something else, but I mean, it depends what you want really, it doesn't make any difference to me. So now I'm going to go back over to the second arch and do exactly the same as I did earlier, finishing off that roof with the smooth overhang and the half slab technique. Very simple, very easy and very effective. So now we're going to go back over to the other side and instead of having that half slab roof that we did in the two arch side, we're just going to do a normal roof here with a simple overhang that matches the one up top almost perfectly. So now we're going to fill in the rest of that quite easy and we're going to just do a small mirror of this side with an archway and again we're just trying to complete all the roofs because that's really easy. Once you've got the roof and the frame, filling in the rest is a piece of cake. So we've actually got all of the roofs sorted. So it's actually time to start filling in the walls. Now I chose birch wood because I thought it complemented the two colors that I'd already used. But again, you can choose any color that you like. You don't even have to use wood, although that wouldn't really make much sense since this is a wooden house tutorial. So let's move on. Just filling in all of the frames one block behind that's very important you need to make sure that you are one block behind the frame so that you have that element of depth without it it's going to look very flat and as you can see this is a very simple build quite effective and i hope you really take home some of the very easy techniques from this build or if you're doing it block for block i hope it works out really well for you now it's time to start detailing however so i just make a quick door very simple add some windows and a quick overhang on the top of them and making windows is really easy depending on what size of the wall you're dealing with. If it's too small, you can just create a block of glass behind it, or if it's embedded in the wall, use glass pane. I'm using a stained glass because I think they look a lot nicer than just the default normal glass. So with these windows, I'm trying to create shape. You could just make them square, but I'm just trying to add a little bit of variety to try and spark your imagination a bit. Maybe you would come up with something better than I have. I also add just little indents using staircase to detail the walls, although they're not having any windows. Having the windows a block back on the inside is going to mess up your interior a little bit, but I'm sure you can handle that. So I added a quick little deck on the side of the house just to simply show you some ideas that you could add and I also had that on my ultimate house tutorial so it should be very simple for you. So moving on to the back, the last little bit to detail, as you can see I'm segmenting it up by adding just a couple bit of log as extra framework and then I'm just sort of doing some random shapes for windows, filling it in with glass or some wood on the back to add colour, doing those very common flower pots that I've always used and that's it, it's very simple. 
This is very, very reminiscent of my Ultimate House tutorial, but in video form for those of you that did not download the map and play it through yourself, which is completely fine. This is just a very specific house. It's, I think it's quite charming, personally. It's very similar to a lot of my other work, but since so many of you asked for it, I thought, why the hell not? I'd already recorded it on the replay mod, so why not just show it for those of you that just really wanted to make something like that? Okay, so that's it from me, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, as always. I'd love to hear some of your suggestions. I have actually got a big list of ideas. I suddenly had a load of inspiration, and I've got a big list of stuff. But, of course, if you have any suggestions, stick them down in the comments, and I will always take a look. The garden video was completely your suggestion. So, yeah. All there is left to say is thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!